Next is we have operation on function. So, of course, we have four fundamental operations in mathematics. That is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So, we have adding fraction. And that is their sum. It is denoted by f plus g of x is the function defined by f of x plus g of x. Okay, so given your first equation and then your second equation and you need to add. Okay, next we have subtracting function. Their difference denoted by f minus g of x is the function defined by f of x minus g of x. Okay, next, in multiplying functions, their product denoted by f times g of x is the function defined by f of x times g of x. And last one, in dividing function, their quotient denoted by f divide by g of x is the function defined by f of x over g of x. Okay, so let's have an example. Okay, so let's solve together. So given that f of x is equal to 2x squared plus x minus 3, and g of x is equal to x minus 1, find the following and determine the domain of the resulting function. Okay, so for letter A, we have f plus g of x. At sabi natin sa ka kanina, sa kabilang slide, si f plus g of x is denoted by f of x plus g of x. X. Okay, so this is our function of x, uh, f of x, and then the g of x. Okay, so now let's add. Kunin muna natin yung f of x natin. Add lang po natin yung given na uh, equation, ha? Okay, so we have 2x squared plus x minus 3. This is our f of x. Okay, yun yung f of x natin. And then sabi... Add daw natin yung g of x. Ang g of x natin ay x minus 1. Okay. So, after po natin masubstitute yung given value ni f of x tsaka ni g of x and then add, perform na po natin yung operation. So, sa pagpa-perform po natin ng operation, dito po, i-combine na po natin yung mga similar terms. Okay? So, first, we have 2x squared. May kapareho ba siyang term dyan? na ang degree ay 2, wala po. So, as is, sulat natin si 2x squared. Next, we have plus x. At ang x, alam natin na ang degree niya ay 1 or ang exponent niya ay 1. At ang whole number niya, of course, ay 1 din. Okay? So, meron ka bang nakikita dyan na kapareho niya or similar terms na ang degree ay 1? Okay, so we have x plus x. Ayan. Ayan x plus x. So, similar term sila. So, combine mo sila. x plus x, of course, that is 2x. Hindi x squared, ha? Kapag x times x, yun po yung x squared. Pero kapag x plus x po, that is 2x. Okay? And then last, so, degree ay 2, degree ay 1. Of course, we have constant. So, ilan yung constant natin dito? Dalawa. We have negative 3, and negative 1. So, combine natin sila. Negative 3 minus 1, that is negative 4. At masasabi mong final answer mo na yon kapag wala ka nang makombine sa kanila. Kapag yun ay naka-lowest term na. So, ibig sabihin, this will be your final answer. We have 2x squared plus 2x minus 4. Okay? Next, second example po natin. Sabi dyan, 
f minus g of x naman daw ang hanapin. At sabi natin, si f minus g of x is denoted by yung f of x natin minus the g of x. Okay. So, first, ano yung f of x natin? So, ulit natin siya. 2x squared plus x minus 3. And then, ito yung f of x natin ha. Minus. So, since ito pong g of x na to, buong equation sa g of x ang naka-minus sa f of x, wag na wag mong kakalimutan maglagay ng parentheses kapag ilalagay mo na si g of x. Okay? Si g of x natin ay x minus 1. Kasi kapag hindi mo siya nilagyan ng parentheses, yung naka-minus lang is yung x lang. Okay? E since g of x yan, yung buong equation dapat ni g of x ang naka-minus sa f of x. Okay, so, wag na wag mong kakalimutan lagyan ng parentheses. Okay, so, f of x, ito na yon minus g of x. Next, o, perform na natin yung operation. Sulat lang muna natin yung nasa left side kasi nakita natin, ito po si minus ay naka-multiply dito. Kasi pag sinabi po kasi natin, parenthesis, ibig sabihin po nakamultiply siya. Okay? So, si minus, anong gagawin mo? I-distribute mo po itong si minus sa loob ni parenthesis. Kung ano man yung naan doon sa parenthesis. So, di-distribute mo siya, ha? Di-distribute. So, that is negative times x. That is negative x. Negative times negative 1. Of course, that is positive 1. Okay, nakita mo kasi na may parenthesis, di ba? Sabi nga natin sa PEMDAS, unahin muna natin ang parenthesis. At ang sa parenthesis natin, nakita na natin na nakamultiply si negative. So, kailangan i-distribute natin siya sa loob ng parenthesis. Ayan. So, ito na siya. After nyan, combine like terms ka na. Okay, so, combine like terms. Walang kapareho ulit si 2x squared. So, sulat mo lang siya. Okay, next. We have here plus x minus x. So, plus x minus x, magkaiba ng sign. Say na variable, cancel na yan. Okay, cancel out. And then, we have here negative 3 plus 1. So, negative 3 plus 1, that is negative 2. Okay po. So, final answer, we have negative, ay, we have 2x squared Minus 2. Okay pa. Next, sa pangatlo naman, ang sabi natin sa pangatlo, we have f times g of x. So, f times g of x. And it is denoted by f of x times g of x. So, dito po sa multiplication, gagamit na po tayo ng foil method. Okay, foil method. This is first, outer, inner, last. Okay, first, outer, inner, last. So, sulat natin si f of x. Again, ang f of x natin, 2x squared plus x minus 3. So, since nakamultiply, parenthesis natin siya, g of x naman, x minus 1. Okay? So, foil method po tayo. Okay, so, unahin natin to Kasi ito yung uh, dalawa lang ang terms. Ito ay tatlong terms. So, dito tayo magsimula. So, first. Ayan. Ayan. So, first. Tapos. Outer, inner, last. Okay. So, ito po. That is first. And then outer. And then inner. And then last. Okay. So, x times 2x squared, okay, x times 2x squared, that is 2x cubed. Next, x times x. So, since that is parehas na, na, na positive, that is x squared. Next, x times negative 3, of course, that is negative 3x. Next, second term naman, negative 1 times, neg times 2x squared. Of, of course, that is negative 2x squared. Next, negative 1 times x. That is negative x. And negative 1 times negative 3. That is positive 3. 
Okay? Uh, review natin. x times 2x squared. So, copy si 2. Since x lang ang minultiply mo, nadagdaga ng isa si x, kaya naging x cubed. x times x, x squared. x times negative 3. So, pagsamahin mo lang sila kasi yan ay constant at variable. So, negative 3x. Next, punta tayo sa dulo. Negative 1 naman. Negative 1 times 2x squared. Since constant to, imumultiply mo lang siya sa constant. Copy mo si variable at exponent. So, negative 1 times 2. That is negative 2. x squared. Kinopyo mo lang si x squared. Next, negative 1 times x. So, since alam natin po na ang, number, or ang whole number na kasama ni x ay 1. Tama? So, negative 1 times 1 lang yan. So, that is negative 1 or negative x. And then, we have negative 1 times negative 3. That is positive 3. Okay? And then, after that, combine like terms. May kapareho ba ng term na ang degree ay 3? So, wala. Copy, copy mo lang si 2x cubed. Next. So, degree ay 2. Meron magkapareho. Ayan. So, we have x squared minus 2x squared. At alam po natin, mga anak, na ito, itong si x squared, ang whole number niya ay 1, di ba? So, since parehas lang silang x squared, ang gagalawin niya lang dyan ay si constant or yung number niya. Okay? Yung coefficient, leading coefficient ng given na term. So, that is 1 minus 2. Of course, 1 minus 2. Nagbawas ka ng dalawa sa isa. Negative 1 yon. So, hindi na natin isusulat si negative 1 ha. Matic negative na lang. Tapos, kopyahin mo si x squared. Kasi alam naman natin na matic na yan may 1 dyan. Next, kapag ang degree naman ay 1, we have 3x tsaka x. Negative 3x minus x. Ayan. So, parehas na variable na x. So, syempre, kukopihin mo lang yung x. Ang gagalawin mo lang dyan, yung leading coefficient. So, alam natin na ang leading coefficient ni x ay 1. So, negative 3 minus 1. Negative 3 minus 1. That is negative 4. So, we have negative 4x. And, of course, the constant, which is 3. So, since uh, lahat yan ay wala ng similar terms, that will be the final answer. Okay? Next, last one. For letter D. So, for letter D, we have F divided by G of X defined by F of X divided by G of X. So, dividing functions naman po tayo. So, same. Sulat po natin yung given ni f of x. So, ang given po ni f of x natin ay 2x squared plus x minus 3. Divide by x minus 1. So, f of x divide by g of x. So, sa dividing functions po, kailangan po kapag ang given mo na equation ay factorable, ifa-factors po natin yon para meron po tayong makancel. Okay? Magkakaroon po tayo ng cancellation. So, nakita po natin na si numerator po ay factorable. Paano po, paano po natin ifa-factor yung numerator? Para lang natin siyang ibabalik sa binomial po. Okay? So, magiging ganto lang siya ulit. Katulad kanina, nag-foil method tayo. Okay? So, factor natin siya. Paano natin yan ifa-factor, ma'am? So, first, unahin mo muna tong first term mo. Ang first term natin ay 2x squared. So, matik po, ang um, ilalagay nyo dito sa first term ninyo or sa binomial ninyo ay 2x tsaka x. Kasi kapag pinag-multiply nyo yan, si 2x times x, 2x squared. Okay? Next, Sunod mong gawin, yung nasa dulo naman. Okay. So, yung constant po natin dyan sa given na equation ay negative 3. Hahanap ka ngayon ng factors ni 3. Ano-ano ba ang factors ni negative 3? It can be negative 3, tsaka 1. Kasi kapag, negative, kapag pinag-multiply mo yan, negative 3 times 1, negative 3. Tama? Or it can be 3 
and negative 1. Kasi pag pinag-multiply mo yan, again, negative 3. So, trial and error po tayo dito. Try natin yung una nating sinabing factors ni negative 3. Ito. We have negative 3 and positive 1. So, lagay natin siya dito. Negative 3 and positive 1. So, tinan natin na kapag pinu kapag sinolve ba natin to kapag nag-foil method tayo dito, is babalik tayo sa ganito. Or babalik tayo dito. Okay. So, para makuha natin yan, alamin natin kung ano po yung magiging uh, second term niya. Dapat ang sagot sa second term ay positive x or positive 1x. At paano natin malalaman yon Okay. So, multiply natin to Multiply natin to Tapos, after nun, add natin silang dalawa. Okay? So, negative 3 times x, of course, that is negative 3x, 2x times 1, that is 2x. So, add natin sila. Negative 3x plus 2x, of course, negative x yan. So, since negative x ang result, hindi po yan yung magiging factors na itong given na equation na to kasi positive x po ito, o. Oh. So, ibig sabihin, ang factors niya ay ito. We have 2x plus 3 and x minus 1. So, try natin ha. 2x times x, 2x squared. So, 3 times x, 3x. Next, 2x times negative 1, that is negative 2x. And then, of course, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So, pag pinag-add natin itong dalawa, 3x plus negative 2x, that is positive 1x or x. So, bumalik lang din po siya sa gantong equation. So, ang factors po niya ay 2x plus 3 at x minus 1. Over, ano yung nasa denominator? x minus 1. At as you can see po, meron po tayo ang parehong term, which is x minus 1, x minus 1. So, cancel na yung dalawang yan. Ang matitira na lang ay 2x plus 3. And that will be the final answer. Okay? Next. Ayan. Is everything clear? So, feel free to make this an open discussion for questions or, or clarifications before proceeding. So, our question and answer portion will be on our synchronous class. So, if you have any questions po, kindly take note. And then, I will answer that on our synchronous class. So, we have to try and learn given the exercises. In these exercises po, uh, gagawin or sasagutan po natin ito, same po sa ating synchronous class. Okay. Next po, we have composite functions. And si composite functions po, ay didiscuss ko po sa ating pangatlong video. So, punta na po kayo doon sa ating third video.